What is up everyone? I am Biredu, coach of the Atacama Tyranitars, and I am here to show you my week 9 match against Caracasa uh, for the SDA League. Um, so this is the last week of the regular season of the SDA League. I was already qualified for playoff going, I think, 6 and 2 so far. And I needed 6 wins to, to get qualified for playoffs to go to postseason. So I was already done. I made some changes on my team, like I told you some weeks before. And Caracasa was out of playoffs, so we, was, we weren't competing for anything in this match. However, last week I decided to bring some more fan um, movesets that involves um, weakness policy coordinate. And you all saw how that turned out, so it, it didn't go great. And I didn't have the chance to try my new mons. So some of my new mons uh, consist on Bramble Gas, Galeel, Jolton, and um, I think it was Klepki. And so this week I, I figured, okay, let's give most of them a, a chance besides Klepki. So uh, we're going to go ahead and see how this match went. I have to warn you though, I missed the first turn of the battle. I forgot to click record. So what you're going to see was uh, the second turn and on from the battle. However, you didn't miss much. I led with Neuburn to check if my opponent was bringing something scary or something unus uh, unusual. Um, because Neuburn has Frisk. And he led with an Assault, assault Burst Slowbro that you will see later uh, was a big problem for my team. So, without further ado, thank you so much for tuning in. I, I, I want to thank you all for your support that you've given me so far. And I want to ask you all if you can subscribe, click the like button, and put some comment in the in the box so this video gets to more people and maybe we can start growing a community. I'm really excited because we're just now starting PHDL, which is the league I am the owner and commissioner. And that's post home. So um, we're coming to an end on this league, pre home, and we're coming fresh for for BHDL uh, in the future league. So I hope you do great in this playoff run. Last my my first and last league I was I was in, I was I, I got eliminated due to a unfortunate creep. Uh, I mean unfortunate miss of uh, hydro bomb by by iron bundle. So. Uh, that was in quarterfinals, I think. So I hope to do better this time, but the competition is really, really tough in this league. So, well, without further ado, let's go see the battle. This is going to be BossCon, by the way. I couldn't I couldn't record live, so this is going to be BossCon. Hope you all enjoy it. See you. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, you didn't make much of the battle. I forgot to click record in the first turn. I led with Neuburn and I thought that his um, slow bro was a soft best. So I decided to U-turn out and go for Galate there. So he felt threatened by Galate and switched it out. And at this point I, I, I obviously clicked Flip Blade, but I knew he could switch in um, the Rolling Moon. So if that was the case, I was in a bit of a pickle. Luckily, I just brought um, I brought a Don fan, which is physically defensive, just to see what happened uh, and if that could work out in this case. So I was fairly sure he was going to go for a dragon, a dragon dance. I brought in my uh, my Don fan, and I knew that I could take anything this guy wanted to throw at me. Um, I also brought play rock just for this situation, and so he went for a dragon claw. I think maybe acrobatics did more damage and I managed it, managed to revenge kill it. I mean to, to, to kill it after he, he dealt like 50% of my damage, of my of my health. So I felt, well this is great, he has a cyclist and I was really scared of the potential of a sweep. 
a really offensive team. Uh, he had two setup sweepers, if I remember correctly. One was the um, the Celtics, and the other one was that Rolling Moon. So one of those was gone. To be honest, I felt like I have a good um, matchup against Caracas and the Grounded Peebles. So the assault best slow bro is going to be a really, really, really big problem this game. I didn't have any safe switches in, and I knew he was he was packing psychic. And as you saw the first turn. I was hit, but uh, you, didn't, you didn't get to see it, but I was hit with a serve uh, by Galeid. And he might have thought that Galeid was my switching against this thing, uh, but to be honest, I didn't have a good switching. <laughs> so I didn't want to bring in Galeid again. He could very well go for a psychic and that would probably KO, uh, but I didn't know what to bring in. So I figured, well, Rumble Gas was kind of my last uh, addition to the team. I didn't know what, to, what else to bring. I thought about bringing Rodon, which would have been a, a, a better brain than Bramblegast. But anyways, I, I just bring in Bramblegast, uh, thinking this was my most uh, sackable mode. So he went for the Psychic as expected, and now, well, if he's running Assault Best, he's probably running also Ice Beam. Uh, but Power Whip might threaten him, so I figured he was going to switch out anyways, and I managed to get uh, to go for a spike here. So I figured I was already in this league in a position where Iron Moth could almost always kill uh, Pomod with a Dazzling Gleam, but it was not 100% certain, so this spike was going to serve me pretty well in that case, if that would, would have happened again. So. He decided to bring the Cyclizar here, which is really, really scary. Um, I think uh, Shetel is not banned here. Uh, he has a really powerful core of regenerators with uh, with Slowbro and, and Cyclizar. So he was obviously going to go for a, for a Shetel here. I, I couldn't touch this guy. Uh, if I wanted to break the, the, the substitute, with Shadow Sneak, I wouldn't be able to because I, I would go first and he's part normal. And Power Whip didn't touch at all the, the Cell Edge that, that was going to probably come in. So, my best bet here was to re, uh, switch out, to swap for Duncan, who I thought could maybe take a, a hit uh, from the Cell Edge behind the Shutdown substitute. And break the substitute with uh, an earthquake so that's what I do he proceeds to shed tail and let's see what he brings in I can't remember yeah he brought the Serolet in so Serolet is a pretty scary mon ball cup sets are, are really painful to deal with and this is also his third captain so, Solitus is a good Terra Captain because of his ability Flash Fire. He can't be touched by uh, fire type moves. So, if you Terra into something that's quick to fire, you have an immunity, which would otherwise would have been um, a weakness. So, I knew he was going to Terra here. He brought the Solitus in because he knew he could withstand an earthquake. So, it was pretty obvious earthquake was not the play. And I decided, well, uh, what's the most common Terra type Serolages always go for is Grass. So I decided to click the, the Ice Spinner. And as you saw, this played off pretty well. Uh, Ice Spinner will manage to break his stuff after he bulks up. So that's pretty important. Otherwise, I think. I could have been swept if I went for Earthquake here. So that's a great, I don't think that matters because you will see that at plus 2 I almost do, I think I do something like 25%. So I have no other play here than go for another Ice Spinner and try to cheat this thing. He will most likely go for um, Bitter Blade to regain some health back, but I needed to keep this thing cheap. 
but to be fair, I could have also gone for Stealth Probe uh, to add to my layer of Spike. Um, I don't think that was too needed, uh, and I just went for Ice Spinner. So, you saw how much damage I did there, and now he goes for a bit of day. I was hoping for not, yeah, I was hoping for just that, uh, for, uh, that he didn't kill me. So, I got a, an Ice Spinner here. He gets uh, Rocky Helmet damage, and he is cheap after all this. If he killed me there, he was going to be almost full health, and at plus two, that was going to be pretty difficult to deal with. Um, so I figured, well, he's obviously go, obviously go for another bit of blade. I was it's trying to go see if I could go into Iron Man. Uh, but then I decided, no, let's just stack this. Uh, I did good. He killed um, a rolling moon and he chipped uh, several edge to the point that it's already at half health. So the, the only other mon that this, this was, this one hand was going to check was Pomod, but I'm just going to try to figure out another way to deal with that thing. So I thought a lot here what to bring in. I was thinking, well, I can revenge it with my choice card Iron Mod uh, with a Fire Flamethrower and I started to call Talk it and I realized Flamethrower does no damage I had forgotten the Flash Fire ability, so um, that's that's really good that I had the calculator there and that was a problem, I didn't know what to do I'm bringing Hurricane Noivern here so that that might have KO. That's I bring the Noibarian. But at that point I thought the Terra Normal Boomer would be better. I did some calculation and, and it didn't kill. It did something like 40%. And here again always killed if I managed to land it. So this was a crucial turn, otherwise again I could have been swept by this satellite. And I was skulking here. And I saw okay, I click her again and thank god I killed the satellite. Oof, I was really nervous there. Satellite was a big problem for my team. And I was kind of surprised he bring um Terra Grass. There are still actually was completely my Iron Moth. So if I brought Sludge Wave with my Iron Moth, that was an easy kill. So then he brings in the Pomod. I know this thing always carries Ice Punch. And again, I didn't have a good routine to this. My Iron Moth couldn't take like a double chuck or something, so I just sacrificed my poor Bramble Gust which was sacked for uh, this whole game but he did something really important he managed to set a layer of spikes remember that so I, I, I was not certain he was going to be an ice punch but it was pretty likely and indeed he did and with an ice punch Rumble Gust is gone this was basically the defensive Rumble Gust by the way so I was hoping he could uh, he didn't kill me there and I, get, I got to do some hit. But now, as I mentioned previously, I was in this situation uh, before and I knew that Dazzling Gleam um, almost healed from this branch. Uh, so, thank you Spikes. I clicked Dazzling Gleam hoping he would stay thinking that, well, he had a chance to live. And indeed, he stayed. <laughs> and I managed to kill with Dazzling Gleam there. So that's pretty good, one for Iron Mod. He brings in the Great Tusk here, and I don't know, I, I, I don't remember if I calculated this, but I think Dazzling Gleam always killed uh, an uninvested Great Tusk. So I was willing to run the, the chance, maybe he was scarred by the way he switched, switched in, hoping that I, I, I was not going to be scarred, 
but little did he know that I was scrapping it. So I just went straight ahead for a dazzling gleam if I remember correctly. So that Ling Ling picks, picks up the kill there and down goes Great Dust. To be fair, to be honest, I, I really wanted that Great Dust dead after those 5 kills it got up uh, after the last week as you saw. So in comes the Slowbro again and again I'm put in this position that I don't know what to do against this Slowbro. I can't one hit KO it with anything and if I go again with Galade which can threaten it he is just going to go for a psychic. There's no, there's no way he doesn't go for a psychic here. Psychic is uh, super effective against mod. So I decided to go into Fractal my Jolten, this new addition, and he does little damage. I don't think he's invested. He was not doing so much uh, that much damage. So there, my play mode activates, uh, which activates quick fit and gives me super speed. So this will outspeed Cyclizard in case it's scarfed itself. So I just go here for a Thunderbolt to do massive damage to this slower. And when I do, I get a critical hit. I don't know if it that crit matter, but I don't think it did, actually. So Slover goes for sure, and I take some current damage. Uh, I just go for straight again for the Thunderbolt, hoping to kill, kill the slower or put the Cyclist on ranks. And he switches out into Cyclizar and takes this Thunderbolt after taking spike damage. So I was fairly certain at this point that uh, Slogan was, uh, I mean, uh, Dalton is go was going to claim a big team here <laughs> uh, as I went for the Crystallization, Ice, and Terra Blast. I saw he didn't switch out, so I immediately uh, knew Clover was going to get in the scoreboard. The Cyclosaur was really annoying, uh, setting up the substitute for the satellite, so I wanted it really, really dead. And I was uncertain, I, I didn't remember if I was going to leave another turn of burn. Oh yeah, I, I did leave the burn here, so I mean, really bad that uh, this game was in my hand right now. Slowbro, despite of being a really good nuisance to my team, I knew it was not going to be able to take this, this Thunderbolt, and he did with a sliver. So then he went for a Night Beam, which me of my poor Jolton. I was hoping he would get two, two kills this week, but he, he didn't. He didn't manage to do it. So, in order to get my Iron Mod into the leaderboard of kills, I just sent it in and went for an energy ball. And this energy ball obviously killed the slow room, so the score for the, the kill count for our Iron Mod is this week was uh, 3 and 0. So, with that, I defeated, defeated Simon, the Caracasa, the coach of the Ground of Evils. Um, and the Atacama Trenders went 7 and 2 in the regular season, hoping to find out who my opponent will be for, for the playoff run. So, thank you all guys for voting. Please hit uh, like, subscribe, and uh, Put a comment on the comment box there and to tell me what, what was your favorite part of the, the battle and and do some suggestions on what can I do to improve the channel and if you want to keep continuing uh, seeing draft league uh, battles. So thank you so much. See you again for the first battle of the BHDL.